So the Pew Research Center uh, did an interesting study on um, feelings about uh, income inequality. Have they risen since 2009? And they asked people, like, uh, not just about that, but about other conflicts within the country, conflicts between blacks and whites, old and young. Those didn't rate very highly, uh, and thank God for that. Uh, apparently, people don't think there's that much of a conflict. Okay, Right or wrong, that's their views on it. Uh, how about conflicts between rich and poor, class conflicts? Well, the American people are very clear on that. They think there's a significant conflict. Uh, the ones who said uh, that there is quote, either a strong or very strong conflict, rose from 47% uh, in 2009 all the way up to 66% now. Two-thirds of the country saying, hey, you know what? There's something wrong here, man. Uh, I, we feel like we're getting hosed here. And, uh, and, I, and you know what was an interesting a aspect of it? Uh, when they asked uh, blacks and Latinos, that number was high to begin with, but stayed, you know, in the same ballpark. When they asked whites uh, back in 2009, only 43 percent had said there was a conflict between uh, the rich and others. Now that has risen to 65 percent. So even white folks get it. You know what? There's massive income inequality in this country, and yes, there is a conflict between the rich and the rest of us. And as Warren Buffett said, there has been a class warfare all along. It's just my class doing it on the rest of you all, and you better wake up. Speaking of which, Warren Buffett did a great uh, challenge to the Republicans today. You know, he had been saying, hey, you got to raise taxes on the rich, people like me, because we pay too little taxes. And the Republicans thought they were clever. And they're like, oh, really? Then why don't you just voluntarily pay more taxes? Oh, zinger, gotcha. And Warren Buffett came out today. He's like, oh, you know what? I'd love to do that. But I know that Republicans care just as much about you know, making sure there's enough money for the middle class. So I will match whatever voluntary uh, extra taxes that these millionaire Republican senators are going to pay. Whatever it is, one for one. Okay? So if a Republican senator pays more voluntary taxes, I will pay uh, however much he pays. But except for Mitch McConnell, who's the leader of the Republicans in the Senate, I'll match him three to one. So they go to Mitch McConnell. And by the way, Warren Buffett laughed afterwards. He's like, I suspect I won't be paying very much. Okay? <laughs> they go to Mitch McConnell and he's like, oh, wait, wait a minute now. That, now that's not really fair. I, I, I need the Democratic senators to go first. If the DNC and the Democrats go first, yeah, then maybe I'll think about it. I mean, come on, come on, back off, Warren. Come on. I, I didn't mean it, dog. Okay? <laughs> yeah, that's what we thought. <laughs> so, uh, but the rest of the country is catching on to this. By the way, it's not just the rest of the country. It's not just whites that are catching on. It is the Republican voters themselves. Now, 55% of Republicans say they see a strong or very strong class conflict. So, gee, I wonder why Newt Gingrich, Rick Perry, and all those guys are going after Mitt Romney for being a vulture capitalist and being part of the 1% who laid all of you off, right? And handing out pink slips. Because they see their own voters are like, yeah, wait a minute, these guys are totally screwing us. And that's why now Republicans are even going in that direction. Now, of course, the Republican leaders don't actually believe it. They're just doing it as a trick. But nonetheless, uh, it's interesting. One more thing about uh, this study that was fascinating. 46% um, said that rich people are wealthy mainly because uh, they know the right people or were born into wealthy families. 43% say that they are wealthy because of their own hard work, ambition, or education. Now, both those things are true. Some are in the, you know, got born lucky, like George W. Bush, uh, and Mitt Romney, by the way, whose dad had $200 million. Um, and some, you know, wound up marrying into wealth, like John McCain did. And, and some obviously earned it, whether it's, you know, LeBron James or Steve Jobs. Um, but there's a different category. The guys who got rich by screwing you. It's a much smaller category, and that's why it's totally unfair to say, hey, you know what, I'm against all the rich. That makes no sense. Well, like, for example, your local doctor makes more than your local plumber. Who's against that? Almost no one's against that. Everybody gets that, right? Um, so I don't want anybody to stereotype or generalize or anything like that. But there's a category of guys who got rich by making sure that they got unfair advantages. That's the real problem. Look, we're going to talk more about this on the current show tonight, and I'm going to show you the exact numbers. 
but I'll give you one small example here. Hank Paulson. Uh, he's the guy that worked at Goldman, was the head of Goldman Sachs, went to the Treasury Department, got about $500 million. There's more interesting details we'll share on the TV show tonight. $500 million from Goldman Sachs, then turns around as the head of the Treasury Department, and when uh, Goldman Sachs needs a backdoor bailout through AIG, gives him $13 billion. Now, he didn't give him $13 billion of his money. He gave him $13 billion of your money. Okay? So then his friends at Goldman get rich, and all those guys go round and round giving each other money. But they're not giving each other money that they earned or that they even got from their grandpapa. They're giving money from you to one another. That's the thing you should be really angry about.